what's right behind me. Two, there's two of them here. Before I begin the US 12 adventures, I'm stopping at a friend's sale. She is a reseller, has the cutest little booth you've ever seen. So checking out what treasures. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit late to the game. I see that she ended up having to open up early. So I might have missed some of her really good yummies, but there's still plenty left to pick from. Well, before 9 o'clock, apparently you need to get out because this one is already sold. Shooty shoot. Beautiful, beautiful cabinet. Oh. I've actually been looking for one of these. So I will grab that. That's a conversation piece. That it? is. I'm definitely... <laughs> is this yours too? Yes. Okay. Yes. I definitely will take that. You know. And this, and I'll look around a little bit more. It's a neat little crack. I don't know much about that one. On to the next booth. Let's see, what is this? I don't know, it's nice though. It is though. We'll have now decanter. Murphy's Irish Tan. On to the next booth. This one's beautiful. Let's see. I haven't even made it out of the park yet. Um, so I'm gonna go and see what else some of the people here have. Um, three booths, three sales, three purchases anyway. So that is a good way to start a sale. Walk over here, looks like they are still setting up. They definitely look like they have vintage, so that's good. Should be a Disney figure. Tins, I love tins. That's funny, I just recently picked up one of those tins. Colors for Halloween. 140. This little nicky nicky table. Okay. I'm gonna pick a piece for a project piece. Everything's a dollar on this table? Even better, thank you. Coffee. Sneak by. That's a cool piece. She's actually at Hog Creek where our booths are. She rents out spaces. Some are dealers that are, have places in the, in the mall and then some are just people that were looking first spot to sell during the one the US 12 sale so I'm gonna come over here and check stuff out that's a neat piece oh hi there you are <laughs> like I, I didn't see you it's neat but it's on the base similar to what Alex got yesterday That's a cute little cubby. That's beautiful. Come on. 50 cents. I can make that over. Is this bowl just a beautiful blue bowl? Hello, of course. He has been glued. He is a smaller piece. Globes that Chris got. You know, I'm shaking as I'm walking over here, but I want, want to see what he has on it. Chairs. 
for the dumps. I have been so slow to sell. French, French, French. This, uh, this might look a little vintage. A ten, oh, a ten. Uh, first, that's probably what I would. Uh, yeah, that's probably what I'd get. Oh, do I need another Rusty Krusty? I don't know what those little jars are. They're kind of cool though. Can you see them? I'm in my shadow. Look at him. He's a whole Santa Claus. I don't know. He's kind of a Santa Mug. Oh. They're newer, but that's pretty cool. Though. He's big. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's just wet. Robin Quincy? I don't know. Yeah, Alan. Quincy? In between? Quincy Allen. Yeah. Oh, look at that, it's big. I just got okay. another scene like, uh-oh, happiest piece. Right Can you see? Can you see? Oh, awesome. See the craziness of shopping on the U.S. 12 sale. Oh, crossing the street is crazy. Okay, we are at the corner. That's kind of cool, though, the for sale sign. I kind of like it for myself, actually. Oh. I do like these. How much do they want for them though? Ten dollars a flag. I like those because they have that Americana. We need to remember to paint like that. Got Santa. Oh, here's another. Oh, so they're new purchased. They're still gold though. Here's a little pot. I like these because they're black. Oh, they're hot. They've been in the sun. Oh, hey. Okay. Hey, I got some of those too. The, the, the Salvation Army.
I decided I'd just drive as far as I could and if I hit five sales and there's nothing to buy, then I will just turn around and come home. So yeah, I mean, I just don't know how far to go and how far it's worth it with gas and stuff. So let's see what they have here. <laughs> that little chair just cracks me up. It just shows up randomly everywhere. Oh, puppy dog. Puppy. This place used to be the cutest little store called Freddy's. They still have it over there. It's primitive folk art. A lot of new purchase goods. But they're having a sale today. So let's see what the treasures they have inside. It may new be new purchase goods. It may be who knows? Let's check out what the yummies are. Huh? I better move before I set up. Oh, uh, well, thank you for sale. Never stopped with this one before. They have a lot of John Deere for sale. They do have a little tent set up, so maybe I'll find something, maybe I won't. I don't know. John Deere, there's some farm all in here too. made it to the flea market part. Can you see it back there of Somerset? So let's go see what's over here. That's what you need. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> so it looks like a lot of new purchase goods. But there's got to be some vintage in here somewhere. So new purchase, handmade stuff here. So I'm just really looking for the booths that are vintage. There's a farmhouse sign, but I'm looking for the I've said so many of those pairs to auction that don't, they will not sell in my booth. But tiles? Cool. But I just got a whole bunch of tiles from my ex. I'm going to pass that off. Oh, it's a clothes pool. Yep. That's a new purchase. Can I turn the camera off? I find this piece. Primitive a candlestick holder. It feels old. So hopefully it's as old as he says a hundred, but it could be, I don't know. I don't know how to test wood to see if it's old or not, but I thought it was a really cool piece. I think that's checked. 
get to blue mold. <laughs> I'm sure they probably have a pretty price tag on them, but I'm only going to buy ones that are shippable to you all, because as I said in the past, there's a ton of them at Hog Creek. That 30 is cute. Nightmare before Christmas. Kitty cat, he's cute. Little faded pumpkin. So it's one o'clock. This is my last set of little canopies that I'm gonna stop at. Like I said, if I went to like five in a row. I mean, I found the one candlestick, but um, yeah, I'm just going to turn around and go back the other way. And if there was one I didn't stop at, I might stop at it, but let's go see what's at this one. But I'm gonna head home. Some little people use somebody else's yard, set up on their lawn, and then just set up Cannabis in the hope to make some money and sell some stuff. That's a newer horse trophy, the metal one you need it to be metal. Metal sells a little bit better, a little bit more vintage. Some old horses. Oh, while I was checking out this booth with the horses, it was actually a viewer from South Carolina that comes up and sells with a group of friends. I'm so glad that she said something to me so I could meet her. And then while I was chatting with her, another lady from the Ohio Toledo area, I believe, she was shopping there with her friend and I got to meet her also. It was so awesome. If you ever see me out and about, please give me a shout out so I can say hi it just warms my heart. I think they're cool, but I don't know what others would think they're cool. So they're geese? They're some faded though. I don't know. Eight dollars for the set probably is a great deal, but I just, I don't know. That's cute. I like that color. Okay, yep, I stopped at one more. Couldn't help messing up. It's nice. Are cute, aren't they? Aren't they cute? I have about 80. <laughs> Andy and Ian's. Well, you need those. I'm thinking They're right up your alley then. Oh, hold on. There's another little booth in here. Oh, I'm glad I stopped. Looks like we got some repurposers. He's pretty cool. Oh, he sold horse. Corvals. How much are these ones? 75 for the set. <gasps> Look at that bucket. It is huge. I want the bucket. Look at me. Look at me take everything out just so I can see what the bucket. 35. Uh, I am totally taking that one. Oh, it's broken though. Shoot. Okay, I gotta think now because it's broken. Got some butters. I don't have a sugar. Sugar's 12. Okay. I can do. Oh, look at that little mouse. He's so cute. Shoot, shoot, y'all. That's a huge one. 15s. Oh, what's on here? A little skating scene. 45 and this antique version. Put that down. Oh, that's an oldie, y'all. Oh, he's pretty. Do a 
see his price though. Purchase. Those are always fun. Sixty dollars on the basket. I like the coffee shop though. I do, even though it's new, I do like it. Okay, let's check out these bad boys. Twenty-five. So talk about shop to you drop. Okay, so day two of doing the US 12 sales. You know, this is the time to pick stuff up. I mean, when you go to an estate sale, you you know, you just get this pick or you go to an auction and you spend all day and wait for the items to come up. So this time it was garage sale after garage sale after garage sale after garage sale. A lot of stop, a lot of go, a lot of, okay, there isn't anything or there's some things. Um, yeah, no estate sale in this one. This was all garage sales. So I went from Allen, Michigan to Somerset, Michigan. <sighs> and, and I was surprised. I'm like, I know it was kind of iffy if the sale started on Thursday or not. A lot of people were pre-set up on Thursday for people to come pick. But Friday morning, holy cow, were the pickers out there. There was lots of traffic, lots of people looking for goods. But you all, I still came away with a ton of stuff. I could not believe it. So I, I can't even, uh, and I was all by myself. So it was like either it was a yay or nay, or I'm like, okay, well that one looks like it has a lot of clothes or that one looks like more babies. So there were baby stuff. So there were some ones I didn't stop at, but I, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I spent actually a lot of time in the Allen area and got a lot of goods there. Um, so just so many treasures, y'all. Vin lot lots of vintage. That's what I was searching for. I was looking for project pieces to make over. I was looking for vintage and antique to decorate my own home with or to resell. So there's that. I I'm, I mean I'm I, I keep looking at it going, oh there were so many good things. So I'm gonna take the camera down and just go over it with you. Um I kept like my like my rule of thumb was like I would go as far as like if I kept like hitting like okay five and then I'm done if I stop at five garage sales sales and I don't get anything that's my sign to turn around and just go home and even when I turned around and just went home is when I found that yummy one that I thought I had passed it's so hard when you're doing these because like the sale, you just come up on to the sale and it's right there and you're like, well, now I'm going past and I don't want to have to turn around because it's really hard to turn around when there's that, that much traffic going on. So I just thought, nope, I'll just pass it. God wink moment that when I came back, I was able to hit it because I did get a lot of treasures. Probably, probably spent the most money at one sale at this one sale. <laughs> so I'm glad that I was able to stop and find a parking spot. That's another thing, finding a parking spot, waiting for traffic. Whew, it's just, it could be dangerous out there. But I also have to add into, I thought that we were going to be done um, and I hadn't really finished editing this film. And Chris and I went out for the third time. You would think, oh my gosh, th three days in a row that you weren't going to find anything, but you all Actually, we stopped back into Allen and people were putting more, had put more stuff out. So the next thing you know, I'm buying more. And so then we went from Allen to Bronson because I had not done that area of US 12 yet. And there again, three times filling the van, <laughs> filling the, well, I have an expedition, but three times filling my car of yummies. Okay, overview of what the yummies that I got. Okay, so barn sale. I have always loved this print. I've never owned this print, but I've loved it. It's old. The lamb, the dog, the snow scene. I just think that's a wonderful print. And then I, these little canvases, if you can pick them up reasonable, people love these little canvases. So a little Holstein cow canvas. The Breddy sale, there was this box of goodies. Um, we had like, these are wax bunnies 
and a couple little carrots. The whole box was $3. It had some eggs in it. So I thought that was a wonderful. And the other Betty sale, um, these were some handcrafted. I already liked the little copper frog and turtle. And then they told me what the artist's name was, Michael Bonet. And so I'm like, oh, I love them. I think the patina is wonderful. And then I picked up this blue. I've never seen a blue sponge frog from 1981. <laughs> I've never seen a blue speckled one. It's so cute. And then <laughs> this is a vintage older um six dollars y'all oh my gosh so i was super excited about are we all excited about a dish rack but if you are a collector of any type of dishes jadeite ironstone um what a great place to display them and then you have another little side that you could display your smaller pieces on oh, if i had room i don't really have room to use this or i would totally be displaying it or if I didn't find the chicken feeder that I had dreamed of I've actually always wanted to pick one of these up and usually they're about the 35 45 dollar range so six bucks was a wonderful pickup okay so let's go back to the table <laughs> there's so much I thought this phone there are people that decorate in this Victorian this phone is just a conversation piece it is an old working phone I thought ten dollars is great I mean come on brass Brass horse, awesome. I've been looking for one of these that was reasonable, $1. Um, I don't think this is terribly vintage, as you can see, but I have some bubble lights I thought would be cool to display, it, and they're newer bubble lights. Talk about Christmas. Santa mugs, oh my gosh, Santa mugs, Santa mugs, Santa mugs. So, um, I don't know how terribly old any of these are, the hobbyist pieces, I think they're adorable. Um, this one reminds me of my creepy Santas. I was going to leave one behind at first, and I'm like, nope, he reminds me of my creepy Santas that I decorate with. And then I know this is nothing special by any means, but he's still a cute Santa. And I would, if I would have left him behind, I would have had thrift regrets. And then this is probably hold, held a candle, but he would be so cute with a bottle brush tree. And then we got a fl green flower frog, a couple little mushroom i've never seen speckled in black before i've always seen it in the blue so i did grab those and then a little crock that i can put a potted meat stamp on never pass up corbels doesn't matter the size they seem to always sell and then talk about brass i do actually sell brass candlesticks so that was a wonderful score to all these brass candlesticks and i ran across a couple big eared Mice, I think I had, I don't even, at the time, if I've shown the other one that I thrifted, but it was two of them. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They are just sweet as could be. So I'm going to go on to this side of the table, show you a couple. I got Chris a draw knife, a couple pulleys. You're always trying to go like 15 and under for pulleys for resale. This one is mint condition, not mint but already refurbished that I can just resell it. This one needs cleaned. The draw knife needs cleaned. This guy is so cute, old, old toy. Um, sell him as is, he's nice chippy aged. Oh, got the right patina of paint. Okay, well most of the paint is missing, but oh my gosh, so sweet. Um, these little ricers have been selling lately. The green ones sell a lot faster. But I wasn't going to pass up this one. I love the rusty rustiness of it. And then it had some, it wasn't pristine. I think that's what made it special. Chris found a vice in today's pick. Um, when I'm filming this, this was the third sale. So he had this vice. And I, I, one of the barn sales I stopped at, she was so reasonable in her prices that I thought somebody might love to add these to their lamps. So I did go ahead and pick those up. A little corner antique store that was having their sale I picked up these these are new purchase goods but I'm like why did I never think to paint like that I, I think those are very sweet flags then I've got a couple little seed packets I'm like these are perfect because 
We will have some morning glory seeds and some other seeds coming from the plants that we planted. So I could use those. The wooden box is pretty awesome, I thought. To open it up, to put greenery in it, a Santa Claus or snowman for the season. Oh my goodness. And then the last sale that I stopped at on the second day had the some firkins. Um, so I did pick up this one. Though it has this little like snow scene, horse sleigh, I thought that would be perfect for turning around for the season. And then you don't have to leave it that way. Let me, let me go around my table here. Because all they have it, so this is on the other side, so you could turn it around. So this, the paint job looks newer to me, but it's still a cool piece. All together with the black and the aging. I mean, you can tell that it's a newer painted piece, but it's still nice size and it's beautiful. Now, my friend's garage sale that I stopped at, I did get the bunny, weather vane. Oh, it's a bunny. It's a jumping bunny. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. With your north, south, east, and west. Love it. So I was working around waiting for Chris to get some bat batteries. Yeah, all oh, the barn sale. I got the refrigerator glowy glass for a dollar. I kid you not. A dollar for the set. So if we go, if we fast forward to this other table that we went back today. She had another jadeite that was glowy for a dollar. Okay, I was a little excited. Usually, like, people know that they're glowy glass and they are going to charge you a lot of money. No, as you see the vases back there, we're working. We're three days shopping here in a row right now. Ooh, it is a little bit crazy. So let's go back and see what I else I got. To pick up a couple pieces of Pyrex. We've got the daisy pattern. And I'm not sure. I've never picked up that black tulipy pattern I so I don't know anything about it but just nice little ca casserole dishes that one does have a couple little scrapes but I do sell Pyrex in our booth um this is just a paper it's just paper of you know a clock face but I love clocks an old little box this is a very large wooden mirror I love that. And then we got some salvage. I don't even know what that went off of. And then it's just, it's just the chicken, the rooster. It's just his neck, but it's funny. Um, some got three little bells, though one has wood on the handles. My friend had this at her garage sale, this little, but that's vintage. Oh, that is so vintage. And I kind of have. Unfortunately, it's ripped a little bit, and I'm worried about getting that tag off to rip it more. I'll see what I could do, but um, yeah, I mean, your Halloween junkies are going to love that. Then I did pick up a set of metal corbels. They're probably a little bit on the newer side, but they're still metal. And then another white <laughs> white scale of the, of the day. Now, this one does have a baby on it, but it's still, it's not that noticeable. Um, so it doesn't necessarily look like an overall baby scale. And then my friend, she had, she's like, I know you want this. And of course, yes, because it's an ironstone pitcher. Of course I want, I want that. Um, and then these lovelies lanterns there. So they're oil lanterns and they have beautiful detail on them. Oh my Lord. Lordy, they are beautiful. That one says Viking. And, oh, they both, they say, both Viking. say Viking, and I think I paid twenty dollars for the pair. Beveled glass. They are gorgeous. Brass? Would you say they're brass? I'm yes. going to say they're brass. Yes. And then I or also copper, got probably copper. Copper? Copper? Bra what do you guys think? I don't know. Thin, so I would say copper. Okay. And then I got this clothes rack coat rack for five dollars beautiful detail i did pick a couple vintage green books up i told you it's, it's it was like shop to your drop it's a lot of stopping and going and stopping and going but i mean even if you walk away with one wonderful treasure it it is well worth it so now i've got a couple things on the ground to finish up um the second day the second day haul so yeah. So I got two of these little black kitty cats, the old 
Um, I don't even know what this material is called. This, oh no, this little ear needs repaired. I didn't notice that, but that's okay. One's pristine, five bucks for the pair. So I can, I can probably CA glue that. Maybe I did that. Maybe it was like that. I don't know now. Way to go. Oh, way to go. But I thought the black cat was cool. The last sale I stepped at, stopped at, she had some of these, but I would rusty crusty it, even though it's cool. The table had like four or five of them on, but I only picked up one to Rusty Krusty to see how it looked. And then that same sale that I got the cow, I got this one, the church, because I, I think they're nice and people do. They're inexpensive to be able to flip and resell and people like to add them to their decor. And then Chris will be so kind to... I absolutely love the colors of this one. This is a, a canvas and you actually can feel the paint on it. Oh, I think the doves are, is I it think. it signed in the corner? Yeah. Yeah, it is signed. So it might be somebody's, yeah, I guess it is a signed piece. It is, cause you can feel the paint. Oh my gosh, it is, I just, that color right there just attracted me to it. I think the fr it's framed very nice. Why am I, so yeah. yes, it's beautiful. Somebody will love it. It almost looks like if you put a black light on it, they might glow. Oh, it kind of does. Ooh, the white does. White usually always glows with the black light, but that is so fun. Okay. We're easily amused here on the channel. <laughs> Anything that glows makes us all <laughs> happy. So I think, I think there's a couple more pieces. Yep, there's more pieces. So I picked up this for sale sign for myself. I know I can make it, I know I can, but it's already done and I know it'll match my decor out my back with the red on there. I got the Laundry Co sign so I can make it rusty crusty, put some patina on them and they sell like hotcakes. Anything I put that Dixie Belle patina on y'all, it does not last. Day These sale. are from today. The third day sales. I got those as project pieces. These two cupboard doors. And then I picked up two more tiles. I love okay. Yeah, see, look at how it, it aged. Looks like it got a little burnt. I know. Um because I knew I'd be able to drill holes these a little bit better than the ones I got from Max to be able to hang them from pulleys. I wouldn't think this guy was a project piece, but he has been broken um, and re-glued okay. in a couple places. And, right and I told her, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, don't worry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a new paint job. I love that he still had his tail because everybody always is worried that I don't replace the tail. And then there we go, three, she called them turkey drops. I have never heard them called turkey drops before, even though I did not realize this one was cracked. So this one will probably either be sold inexpensively or go to auction or stay in her own collection. The other two are not. Have you ever heard these called turkey drops? I have never heard that called that before, but I was good with it. I thought it was hilarious. Of course, terracotta pots and a cute little stool that's <laughs> all ready to go. Are you bored yet watching all the stuff that we got? I mean, I can only take you with us so much and show you so much of what's on the table. So the third day, I did not. I did not like do any filming because even sometimes when I'm filming, I feel you, you all know like, oh, did you see that? Oh, you missed that. You just you just cannot see everything that's out there. So of course, the third day haul, we didn't go as far as as long. And of course, everything is the third day, so it's picked over. But people did put some new stuff out. This guy, I said, hey, he doesn't have a price tag on it. And they're like, oh, he's on the free table. But yes, I Google lensed him before I asked, and he's from 1950s. So he's not a re remake. He is actually vintage. I mean, look at his belt. He is vintage. Other than needing some, sp seeing if I can spot clean him, that might be a burn mark, but... He's pretty cool. A metal sun. And it's funny that I just picked up some suns on the first trip. A um, couple metal. I thought these were amazing. These heavy. They are super heavy. A set of super heavy jacks. Nope. No balls with them. Just the two jacks. Project piece of this lamp. I thought, Chris, do you think we could take that lamp apart and just make a swan out of it? And it's actually probably maybe a cement. 
So you can, I, I think I can fill it with Bondo and then just save the swan. The, just take the whole, I mean, it's heavy. I, I think that's cement. Um, got a beautiful chandelier, chandelier, candle abra, brass candle abra. I got these couple insulators because I thought these are perfect to put bottle brush trees on at Christmas time. And then a little toothpick holder, vintage toothpick holder owl. The lady gave me this for free, even though I was going to pay for it, but it's one of the painted rocks. Little ladybug. I just like the wording on this. I'm not even really sure what it goes to, but it was all about the wording for me. I have never seen a metal plate on a Bible before. The shield. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about that metal 1951. plate. 1951. Yeah, so it's got, it's got age to it, but it's just... I knew that it was in a little Bible, but I, yeah, that's neat. We showed you the jadeite his juicer already. A little mini hen on a nest that is in the milk glass. Oh, so cute. Let's see, does it have the ring of fire? I don't know. Oh, yes, it does. Can you see the ring of fire? So it's an older piece where it kind of shows that yellowish orange as I held it up to the light. Is Chris trying to see it? No, I saw it. Can you see it? I see it. Can you see it? I've seen it. Okay. Uh, where are we now? I'm okay. guessing this was to the front of a sewing machine. It says white on it. So if I just take this piece off, it's a decor piece. That's yeah. all it needs done. And it would it just... stand up well, too, because it's actually curved. Yeah. I mean, it would just be a beautiful salvage shelf sitter. Um, I wasn't going to get this at first, but the Chris pointed out how smooth this wood is. This thing's been used for a long time. I mean, it's... It feels like somebody's used it every day for a hundred years. So there, there, there's just that feeling when you touch something that you know how old it is. Now we went to our friend Max's sale for the third time and now, the only thing he saw. and I saw this at first, and I'm like, "Hey, I sold one of those that that was multi-part." And then Chris in a box found the bottom to it, and yes, it was only a dollar. <laughs> Beautiful green piece. I thought this. I can leave this green or I can paint it black, but I thought it was super, super cute. Um, and then this, actually, we just sold one. It's a lobster buoy. I've never picked up one in that color, but they do sell. And as he puts the scale together, oh, look at that. Actually, one of those scales with its basket. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty happy about that and I think it has like the right amount of patina on it look at that beautiful black color it's just a resell as is piece and then I did pick up this little wooden duck only because look at all how cute all those are and they were used because oh, there's a yeah, wood yeah. rod on them yeah and I might actually keep this one for myself even though I don't have a garden <laughs> I thought it, I love the age of the wood and all the writing on it. Now this guy, I don't know how much he's missing. Well, he's missing a foot. He's is he is missing a foot. But you, he, I think he's that basket doesn't do anything for him. But he should maybe be holding a plant, a pumpkin. Um, if he was supposed to have more face, I don't know. But he is a super cool. It's just copper pipe. Yeah, other than I, we have to cut, we have to trim his nails, trim his whole foot off so he matches. I think somebody will think he's very cool. This cool piece, talk about the metal work. And look at how it's, it's a dragonfly, and it's got like glitter iridescence on it. So it's a, it's a, I don't think there's a signature in it. Handcrafted piece. You should always sign your work. But yeah, it's a beautiful metal dragonfly huge and then chris was so kind to carry this out for me y'all i know it's a bed frame look at how the brass aged all oh, the rusty crusty take the wheels off and it's going to be in one of my gardens as a decor piece 10 bucks 10 bucks good no yep. good negotiation skills chris i just said how much <laughs> now we're gonna get to chris's haul well, he he Budweisered it up this week. And this one was on Yvonne's second day, so yesterday. 
And she had texted me, I was at work. She goes, what do you think? Look at twins, twins. She goes, what do you think? And it had a price tag for $600 on it. But the picture she took, and I'll have her put it on, it shows it, and I thought there were two. And I said, well, Willie, she goes, make an offer. And I said, well, how about 900 for both of them? And she goes, that's a mirror. <laughs> so <laughs> the guy had a really clean mirror behind it. But uh, she did end up getting this. I think she paid 550 for it. Yep. So that's still a good deal. This one actually works. And with, well, they both work. But with this, I found out that it has a light in it. Yeah, his, so, his that he bought doesn't light he So doesn't mine light doesn't up. light up, but I'm guessing all I have to do is take this plate off the bottom and change the light bulb. I can do that. Oh, see, now we know. So one, it actually almost looks bigger, but it could just be looks are deceiving. It might be. Oh. It might be bigger. It might be a little bit bigger. So I think that it is. Models. Yeah, I think it is a little bit bigger. Huh. It's heavy though. Yes. Very heavy. Now that one, of course, he got to resell y'all. This is a little gumball machine, but what's cool is it does have, and it was probably peanuts. It was probably sitting at the end of the bar. Yeah, and it's got some brokenness that which he can fix, but this is glass, so we gotta be careful. There we go. This right here, this wall sconce, I looked in a box, well, first I looked in the box and I found this. And I asked the guy how much. He said, how about 10 bucks? I didn't realize how badly it was broken. I saw this here, but I didn't realize the whole bottom is broken. And this all needs work. It's a little loose. But 10 bucks, we can, we can do something with it. But in there were two of these bases, but I only found one of the tops for it. And yeah. I asked him how much for that. He said, how about 10 bucks on that also? And I said, do you have the other top? I'll buy the other one too. And his wife, girlfriend, whatever, she said, uh, she goes, somebody just bought just the top. The Why would day. you sell just the top without the bottom when you have both of them together? I don't understand that. And we looked it up. You can only buy, you can buy the whole thing, but there's no just, there, yes. there's not just the top. Yeah, so I had to leave the bottom behind. But then he can have two little, even though they're not matching, he can put one on the other side. So that, three days, that's a lot of shopping. I probably ran through the hall with you all. Um, it's great pieces, some good pieces. Um, now the job is the shopping part of a reseller is the fun part of it. It's the actually the easy part of it. Well... Finding, you know, the hunt. Um, pricing, cleaning, repairing, deciding what goes in the booth, what goes on eBay, what I'm going to keep for my own home decor, what I can make over for you all. That's a whole nother story, a whole nother video to come. But yes, now the work. And then if I've shared with you in the past, it doesn't sit here. This, this will be my goal for one day to get it all taken care of, all put where it needs to be. And then I can get on with my life and then I can go craft for y'all and make projects. So I cannot just have it. So three days of shopping, whew, that was a lot. <laughs> but it is a good haul and I would not have came home from an all day auction with this much or just one visit on an estate sale. So it was well worth it. I can see why people do it, take time off to come do it. Yeah, so let me know, do you do those kind of sales where you're like, okay, they are, or do you only do them for one day? Did you, would you do them for multiple days, three days in a row? Whew, I'm a little tired of it. I hate to say that, I'm a little tired of shopping, but I'm sure if you passed a, passed a sale, I'd probably jump out of the car and go check out what was there because I don't want to have that fear of missing out. Anyway, thank you so much for going along, shopping with me, seeing what was out there and seeing the treasures that we bought home. Again, if you're part of our YouTube family, thank you so much for commenting, sharing, and liking our videos. And if you're not part of our YouTube family, please hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so you know when we upload a new video. And we will see you next time, guys, and you can see what we're up to. Bye!